Okay. Hi, guys. Um, so, I'm here at um, the studio in Menasha again. Um, a little bit of a different setting for your workout this evening. Um, usually I do it in the other studio. Today I am in here. So, behind me, instead of the image of the tree, I get these mirrors. Um, so today you might have seen, I posted on Facebook, we're going to be doing a, like, the 40 to 45 minute version of Body Pump. So if you do come to Body Pump regularly, that just means we take out a couple of arm tracks. So we're still going to focus on the main muscle groups. Um, you're going to want to have some heavy items around you just for lifting. Um, if you don't have any weights or that kind of stuff, perfectly fine. Any heavy household item will work. Um, just trying to think what else I need to say. My name's Corianne, just in case. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to hit play on this music and we will get going. Let me just make sure it's all running. Perfect. Let's do it. All right. So for your warm up track, you can use a bar or you can use a couple of dumbbells or any heavy household, heavy household item that you have. Let's roll the shoulders back. We're going to bring the weights down to the knees, and then we rise slow to the top. We do that again. It's a slow deadlift to the knees, and then we rise. We're going to turn it just a little bit quicker, so we come down for two. We rise upright row this time. Bar comes to the ribs, and we push it down row again. Down to the knees for two. We rise upright row, down to the knees. Do it again, all the way down, and all the way up. Try to keep those elbows just a little lower than your shoulder height. Up, and down, single count. We're down, and up, and up, and down, yep. So we're just warming up so far. Again, if you're using hand weights for this one, it's going to be pretty much the same motions that I'm doing with the bar. We're just warming up the muscles. Down and up and up and down. A couple more of these. Here we go. One more time. We're moving into a high pull. You're going to get up on your toes and just bring the bar up to the ribs. So it's kind of like the upright row. There's just a little more oomph behind it. A couple more. Do the slow, dead row. Down to the knees, pull back, down, and we rise. Let's do that again. So you take a bow, pull the elbows back, shoulder blades together, bar back down, stand up tall. We have two more of those slow. Pull in, down, rise. Come to come, down slow, pull in, down and rise. Let's go single count. You of four. Three, two, and one. Keep going. Four, three. From the side, you just take a bow, pull in, down, and stand up tall. Four, three, two. Keep going, guys. We got four more. All right. We got these three left, and then we're going to start with some of that overhead work. One more of these. Slow, clean, and press. You're going to clean the bar up. Catch at the collarbone. Push to the top. Bring it down. And push it down the body. Come again. Up. Catch. Push to the top. Down and down. We have two more slow. Just for practice. If you're using your dumbbells, it might be easier to turn them. One more time. Come on up. Catch. Push to the top. Down and down, single count. We drop, push, down, and down. Go again, drop, push, down, and down. From the side, try to notice as I keep the bar close to my body. So you never want to swing your arms out. We have four more. Just kidding, one more time. Bar onto the shoulders, single squats. Yep. Keep them coming, guys. So your butt comes all the way down in line with the knees. 
we go. Four more in this stance, and then we're going to step out just a little wider. Last one. Step out a little wider, down and up. So it should feel different in the wider stance. If you want to come. One more time. Step one leg back, single lunge. I'm going to turn to the side because I didn't leave myself enough room. Down and up. 90 degrees in the knees, warming up the legs. You're going to step in, change to the other leg. Down and up. All right. Feeling a little warm already. We have three more of these. Last one, clean the bar up and over. Wide grip, deadlift to two, down. And rise, do that again. So the wide grip should feel a little different. Let's do that one more time. Wide rows, it goes. Four, three, two, and one, go again. We're gonna do this twice more. And then you should be already warmed up. One more. Three, two, one. Nice. Good job, guys. Um, so for track two, we're going to be focusing on squats. So for this one, if you do have a bar at home, you're going to want to add some more weight onto it. If you're just kind of using dumbbells, um, perfectly fine. You can just hold them at your collarbone. Or again, if you're using your heavy household item, just hold it at your collarbone. Um, and as well, if you don't have any kind of weights, there's still plenty of repetitions in these squat tracks that you're still gonna get a really good leg and butt workout. So no worries there. Um, we also incorporate calf raises into this one. So I like to go a little bit lighter than on some of the other squat tracks for this one even. All right. And that's that. So if you would like to use a bar and you have one handy, you're gonna clean it up onto your shoulders, around about now. Feet start a little wider than the hips, and we're just gonna come down two, two. Down, two, we rise. Do that again, drop for two, rise, keep them coming. So this mid stance, you're gonna feel it all in the quads. Keep going, down, come on up. Again, drop, two, do that two more times. Here we go, last one. We slow it down, three and one. Three, two, one, power up. Take your butt down as close to in line with the knees as you can. Here you go, one more time. One single, then one with a calf raise. Down, up, down, get on the toes. Down, up, down, rise. I know you can't really see my feet in the video because the bench is kind of, they're kind of matching. Down, up, but I promise you, I'm getting up onto my toes on that second rep. Two more. All right, guys, one more time. We take it down, triple pulse. Three, two, one, get up on the toes. Three, two, one, all the way up. Two more times. Here we go, last one. Three, two, one, rise. Step out a little wider. Round two, down two, two. Woo, that's it. One round down. You got two to come. Wider stance, works a little more into the sides, the backs of the legs. Woo. Yep. Down. And we rise. Two more. All right, guys. One more time. Slow it down. Three, one. Three, two, one. Lift. Three, two, one. And lift. Couple more. All right, first combo. One single, one with a calf raise. Down, up, down, all the way up. Drop, power up, up onto your toes. So as you lift your heels, you should feel your glutes squeezing. Triple pulse, three, two, 
one, up onto the toes. Three, two, one. All the way up, you got it. Give yourself a little time. Nice. Let's do four more, four more. It gets a little uncomfortable, but that's okay. That's what we do, right? Here we go, one more, one more. Three, two, super slow from the top. Four, three, two, one. Rise. Ooh. One more time. Four, three, two, one. Rise. All right, guys. Two rounds down. One to go. Step a little wider. Down. Two. Come up for two again. So, if the warm up did not get you a little sweaty, hopefully the squat track did. Yep. No matter what time of the day you're joining me at. Down, two, lift, one more time. Slow it down. Three, one, three, two, one. Power up again. Yep. We got it. Three, two, one more time. Combo number one. One single. And then one with a calf raise. Yep. Down, up. Down, all the way. All right. One more time. Drop, triple, pulse. Three, two, one. All the way up. Three, two, one. Guys, we're in the home stretch of the squat track. So just keep them coming. You're going to do this four more times. Four more times. Woo. Three, two, one. That's it. Two more. Two more and you're out. But before you go, super slow from the top. Four, three, two, one. Lift on up. Do that again. Sit the hips back. Four, three, two, one. Power up. And you are done. Nice job. Bar comes up and over. All right. Woo. Grab water whenever you need it. We are going to be setting up for um, the chest trap next. So if you do have a bench at home, this is when you're going to want to use it. If not, perfectly fine to just do this laying on your floor. Um, so we're going to be using the bar in a wide grip. If you do not have a bar, grab a couple of heavy things, whatever they might be. You're going to lay on that and you're just going to open out the elbows push back to the top. So that's going to be your move. Um, in the second half of this track, we use the hand weights anyway. So we're only back together at that point. Um, if you do want to switch your weight on your bar, you might just want to take off um, some of your squat weight, depending on what you used. <sighs> Let me just grab some water. And of course, it is a chest track, so we do have a few push-ups in here. Um, so just make sure you have a little bit of space around for your push-ups. And that's all there is to say about that. Let's do it. This one's actually kind of fun, I think. One grip on the bar, so your pinkies are pretty much touching the outside plates. Lay all back. Bar up. We're going to bring it down to the chest. Two, two, down, for two, push up for two, go again, down, two, and up, for two, couple more, racing through the abs as you do it, one more time, we're going to drop, stop, and hold, down, pause, we rise, let's do that again, down, hold, we push to the top, two more times, elbows down in line with the bench, bar down to the ribs, Alright, hit the brakes super slow. Four, three, two, one. Push on up. Come on down. Triple pulse. See yeah, three, two, one. Push up. Go again. I know the chest track is kind of tricky when you're doing it at home. Because you can't see me, right? So I'm going to try to give you as clear instructions as I can. You do that triple pulse four more times. Oh, uh, just kidding. From the top, two, two. Down, for two, and up, for two. Go again. One more 
more time. All right, guys. Down and hold for a second. Down. Pause. Push to the top. Go again. Down. Pause. We push. You got two more. Drop. Stop. Push to the top. One more time. All right, guys. Hit the brakes. Super slow. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then push the bar to the top. Down and pulse. We have three, two, one. Drive. Go again. Three, two, one. We push two more. Three, two, one more time, guys. We're heading into singles. Down and up. Down and up. Now, if you're starting to feel this in your shoulder muscles more than your chest, just relax the shoulders and your elbows just a little bit lower. Lower on the body. We got four more. Three. Two. Last one. All right, sit yourself up. We're coming behind the bench for push-ups. You have a little bit of time to set up. I'm just going to turn the music up ever so slightly. So if you have your bench, you're behind your bench. We're coming down slow. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Push up. Down and pulse. Three times. Three, two, one. And let go again. So you can do your push-ups on your knees, on your toes, or bring the knees in if you need to. We got singles. Come on down and up. No matter which option you choose, drop your chest down in line with the elbows. We got four more singles. Three, two, last one. Woohoo! Grab a couple of hand weights or heavy, heavy things. Lay on back. Come on out for two. Push up for two. It's either an A plus or a fly. Down and hold for a fly. You want to keep your arms kind of straight. For an A plus, you're bending the elbows about 90 degrees. Alright, one more time. Let's hit the brakes. Super slow for four. Three, two, one, push to the top. All right, triple pulse. Three, two, one, push on up. Three, two, one, push up two more. Here we go, one more time. We got those signals. Swallow the out and in. Come on out and in. Relax the shoulders and catch those weights right at the bottom there. Alright. How many more? How about four? And three. And two. Last one. Alright, set yourself up. One more round of those push-ups. You have plenty of time to set up for it. So if you just want to stretch out, shake out for a second. Take a minute. Alright, set yourself up. Let's come down super slow. Four, three, two, one. Push yourself away. Down pulse. For three, two, one. Push away. Three, two, one. You're doing it. Three, two, one. More time, guys. How about those singles? Here we go. Drop and lift. Woo! Down. Clean up, push, down, 
and down, but it just feels a little bit different with the hand whip weights versus the bar. So I like to kind of demonstrate that before we get started. Um, I'm gonna be using the bar throughout the track, so you can choose. As well as your weights that you're gonna use for that, you also just want one separate heavy item. All we're gonna be doing it, doing with it is squat presses. And that's gonna be that. This one's pretty simple but it's pretty good cardio. So you can keep about the same amount of weight on your body that we used for the chest track, or if you want, you can maybe add on just a little bit more since this one's not too tricky. Just making sure it's all looking good. Perfect. All right, let's do it. I feel like I'm so much more energetic teaching in the evening. Bars or weights up, whatever you're using. Two, two, does row. Pull on in. Down. And we rise. Go again. Down. Pull in. Down and rise. Triple row. Come on down. For three. Two. And one. Let's do that again. We're coming straight into your first clean and press. Keep that bar close, we go, drop, drive, down to the knees, row, four, three, two, do that again, drop, drive, down, row, four, three, two, so we saw these moves in the warm up, if you're kind of new to pump, and you're still getting a feel for it, this is a really good release because it has a lot of repetition, let's do that twice more, drop, Drive, down, down, pull in, do that again. Four, three, two, down to the knees. All right, the little shoulder roll. Shake out your legs if you need to. Shake out your arms. Roll shoulders up, back, and down. We're coming into a single row. Ready? Let's do it. Four, three, two, one, four. Three, two, one. All right, one more to come. Next time, triple row. Pulling for three, and two, and one. Nice, do that again. Same combo as before. One clean and press, one dead row. Let's go. Drop, drive, down and down. Knees, belly, knees, rise. And again. Not too bad, right? Every clean and press is accompanied by one of those rows. Which is really nice because it gives you a chance to like think about it, regain your bearings. Let's do two more. Drop, drive, down, down. Yup, you got one to come. Four, three, two, down to the knees. Bar down. Grab your other heavier item. Rack it at the collarbone. And we're just going to squat, press, squat, press. So use your legs to help push that weight up. Yup. Nice. You got four more. Four. Three. Here we go. Last one. Single row. Woo. You're doing it. We're moving. We're 
quick change. All right, we're just back to the row. So step back, wait to hit, down, and in. We got it. That's the name of this song. It's like, we got you or something. <laughs> something like that, I don't know. One more time with the lunge and the shoulder press. Back, drop, step on in. Four, three, two, one, you got it. Isn't this nice that we're kind of doing these shoulder presses? And then right when we finish this track, we go into the shoulder track. Woohoo! Two more. Here you go, guys, one more time. Triple pulse squat down the middle. Three, two, one, step on back, pulse three, two, one down, second to come, and step on back. I know, I know, it gets boring, it gets frustrating. I try to be as entertaining as possible. <laughs> step back, and it's so good for your body. Three, two, one, step back. Step on in, pulse three, two, one, step back. Guys, in case you weren't counting in your head, we got two more. There you go, this is it, last one. Three, two, one, step back. Three, two, one. You're done with your lunges. Way to go. That one's long. You made it through. Awesome work. Um, we have one standing track left, and it is to tone our shoulders. So we're gonna do the shoulder track. The only thing you need for it is a couple of hand weights, or whatever you're using. Um, other than that, we will be coming down to the mat for just a little bit for some push-ups and some mountain climbers. Um, yeah, I think that's it. No bar for this one, so you just need two kind of heavy-ish items to lift. And then we got abs, and then we'll do a little stretch. And then you are free. Alright. So grab your heavy items, dumbbells if you have them. We're just going to start with an upright row. We come up. Two. Side raise, two, two, out, and in, again, we lift, so on down, so it's the same motion that we did with the bar, and you're just doing it with your dumbbells, come on up to the side, try to always keep your elbows a little lower than your shoulder height, and then the wrists are a little bit lower than the elbows, two more, up, two, down, side raise, out, one more time. We're coming into a high pull after these side raises. You have two high pulls. Up and down. Take a bow. Fly. Bring them in. Stand up. High pulls. That's your combo. Take a bow. Fly. Four. Three. Two. Two high pulls. So the high pull, very similar to the upright row. You just lift up onto your toes. Put a little more force behind it. Down. Slow side raise. We come four, three, two, one. Fight gravity on the way down. Again. Four, three, two, one. Back into the combo. Two high pulls. Lift. Lower. Take a bow. Fly. Four, three, two. Two high pulls. Up and down. Take a bow. Four, three, two, and one. Two high pulls. Push up, down, two, lift, for 